Little Miss Helpful was one of those people who love to help other people. Nice day for helping someone. Do you know what I mean? I mean, for instance, like the time when one of Mr. Tall's shoelaces came undone. Now, if you're as tall as Mr. Tall, tying your shoelaces isn't the easiest thing in the world, as you can imagine. I say, let me help, said Little Miss Helpful, rushing up to where Mr. Tall stood looking down at his shoelaces. But somehow, she managed to tie Mr. Tall's shoes together. Oh! And he fell over. And if you're as tall as Mr. Tall, falling over hurts. Oh, my poor head! Oh dear, poor old chap. Let me help. Little Miss Helpful tried unsuccessfully to lift Mr. Tall upright. Come along, up the daisy. Oh, if only you weren't so tall. Little Miss Helpful puffed and struggled, and then... Just a minute. She had an idea. Don't go away, be back soon. And off she went to find the wizard. Well, he wasn't home. But looking through the window, she could see his book of spells on the table. She crept into the house and turned over the pages until she found the spell she was looking for. Tall be small when I call small, small be tall when I call tall. Ha, oh, I think I can remember that. And she hurried back to poor Mr. Tall. Looking up at him and waving the wizard's wand, she cried, Tall be small when I call small. Oh dear. Mr. Tall suddenly shrank in front of her eyes. It worked! It worked! I say, the spells worked. Mr. Tall found it easy to get to his feet again. Thank you. Now, would you make me tall again, please? Squeaked Mr. Tall. But as she was trying to remember the other half of the spell, who should come along but Mr. Small? Ah, uh, uh, Mr. Small, meet Mr. Tall, said Miss Helpful, introducing them both. <laughs> tall my foot. He's as small as I am. Oh dear, now, now, hang on a sec, what was it? Um, ah, uh, tall be small and small be tall. No, 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 hold on, okay chaps. Uh, uh, tall be, tall be small and all be all. Uh, no, 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 hold on a sec, one moment. Um, small be tall and, no, uh, sm small be tall when I call small. Yes, huh? well now you know what I mean about people like Miss Helpful. For instance, last year, Mr. Happy woke up feeling not very well. The doctor had to be called to Mr. Happy's house, which is on a hill by a lake. Oh dear, said the doctor when he saw Mr. Happy. Looks like measles. Mr. Happy's face fell. Now, look here, you're, you're going to stay tucked up nice and warm in bed and get lots of rest and take this medicine three times a day. The doctor left the cottage and Mr. Happy settled down to sleep. He'd just fallen asleep when there was a loud knock at his front door. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, groaned Mr. Happy and staggered off to open the door. Hello there, I've come to help. Oh, but look... Uh... But nothing. Off to bed with you while I get on with everything. Miss Helpful looked round the cottage. This place needs a good clean. Mr. Happy had just dropped off to sleep again when Miss Helpful poked her head round his bedroom door. I say, oh, got a scrubbing brush. Oh, dear. Well, <laughs> poor Mr. Happy. He had to get up and show her where it was. And then he went back to bed to try and sleep. Downstairs, little Miss Helpful stepped back to admire the kitchen floor she'd just scrubbed and threw on the soap. Woof. And fell head over heels and got her head stuck in the bucket. And because she couldn't see where she was going, she walked into a shelf full of saucepans, which fell all over the floor with a terrible clatter. And because she couldn't see where she was going, little Miss Helpful stepped into one of the saucepans and got it stuck on her foot. And because she had to hop, she fell over against the refrigerator door, which fell open, and everything inside fell out all over little Miss Helpful. Oh dear. 
Poor Mr. Happy awoke with a jump at the terrible commotion. He groaned, got out of bed, and went to the kitchen and opened the door. Oh, I just need to get some sleep. He couldn't believe his eyes. There, in the middle of a pile of broken eggs, and a scrubbing brush, and rolling saucepans, and a lot of water, spilt milk, squashed butter, and a piece of soap, sat Little Miss Helpful, with a bucket on her head, and a saucepan on her foot. Help! I, I say, I say help! I can't see where I'm going anymore! Mr. Happy seized the bucket, and pulled as hard as ever he could, and pulled, and pulled. <laughs> the bucket came off the top of Little Miss Helpful's head like a cork out of a bottle, and Mr. Happy shot backwards like a bullet from a gun. He went flying through the kitchen door. He shot across the garden, and straight through his garden hedge. He rolled down the hilly field behind his garden, faster and faster, and then... He finished up in the lake, with a bucket on his head. And a little figure with a saucepan on one foot came half running, half hopping out of Mr. Happy's house and down towards the lake. I say, let me help! Ahoy there! She's blunt. Hip up, they're late and not here. Tickle. She's trouble. We're helpful timing. Neat. 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 little Miss Sunshine. I'm fuzzy and greedy. I'm a long boy. I'm too late. It's magic. I'm neat. What was it? Every dream. Get the bus. Splendid impossible team. Oh.